You know, we at TalkSTEM spend a lot of time thinking about the questions and answers that we show you in our videos for Walk STEM. But you can be a STEM explorers just like us anytime, anywhere, even here at the Lisa K. Simmons Amphitheater. Just standing here right now, I'm making some observations and being curious about my particular space. You can do that too. Some things that I'm wondering, well, you know, this amphitheater is a circular, or at least part of a circular space, and it makes me wonder, what if it went all the way around the seating area? I've been to some theaters where people actually sit in the round and all of the action goes in the center. What would that look like? How big would that space be? Well, first, we need to figure out where the center is of the stage, or at least assume a point. So let's assume from behind me that that's the center point of the stage and then we would measure to the first row seats where you're sitting. And then we could figure out, using that radius, the size of the circle that would be created with a theater in the round. From here, I'm also observing the sidewalk or the pathway in front of the stage, and I'm noticing that it's not level, and it slopes quite a bit. And I've got to wonder why. So I'm going to make another observation, and I can see here that it's rained recently, and there's some mud that has flowed down the uh, pathway. So that makes me think that maybe this slopes because it's a way for the mud and the water to drain into the surrounding area. I'm also looking out here and noticing again the slope. Is that something that we could measure? It absolutely is with a few simple tools and if we use some critical thinking, our brains. I can see that on one end it's higher and on the other end it's lower. So if we could get that, those two measurements and get the difference, we'd be able to figure out the rise of this particular space or the difference in the vertical distance. And then all it is is a matter of measuring the horizontal distance. So standing here in this particular space, I've been able to come up with three questions with some observations pretty easily. And I know that once you get to this space, you're going to have lots of questions of your own. So I'm going to invite you to come on out here and think about this space and be STEM explorers, because that's what Walk STEM is.